Dragon Ball C is without a doubt one of the most well-loved anime franchises in the world. It's a popular artist crossover to video games, movies, clothing, toys, and a lot more. This year, we are welcoming the release of another fighting game from the franchise, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. And hello, this is Riza Morris. Join me guys as we are going to celebrate the match away to the launch of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. And also, let's look at the top 20 best Dragon Ball Z games ever made. Kicking off our list is Super Dragon Ball Z, a cel shiny 3D fighting game based directly on Akira, Toriyama's Japanese manga, Dragon Ball. Super Dragon Ball Z released approximately a decade and a half year ago, yet it is still regarded as one of the best Dragon Ball games ever made. It was met with a very warm reception at launch, selling 95,082 units in the first week of its release in Japan, which made it number two in the Super Cells in Japan for that week. Super Dragon Ball Z celebrated for featuring traditional gameplay similar to that of fighting games in the 90s. It is available for the PlayStation 2 and can be found in the arcades. Up next in our list is Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure, a bit-em up action game published by Ben Fristo and developed by Deems for the Game Boy Advance. Much like all the other Dragon Ball games, it is based on the illustrious Dragon Ball anime series. It covers the preliminary stages of the anime when Goku meets Bulma and continues up until the final battle against King Piccolo. It also features 30 characters that are playable across the five design game modes. Fans definitely love how the game's story progress as the developer successfully squeezed 153 episodes into 15 side scrolling levels thanks to beautifully made cutscenes and boost fights. The game may be short, but it's definitely worth all your time. Dragon Ball Z The Legacy of Goku is an action role-playing game that was developed by Webfoot Technologies and published by Atari for the Game Boy Advance. And as the name suggests, it is the sequel to the original Dragon Ball Z The Legacy of Goku. As such, it maintains much of what the fans love about the original and introduces some of the most highly requested features. Fans of the anime series will appreciate how the game allows them to experience events and the anime firsthand. It also offers a side quest that gives the players more background in some of the events that receive only a few minutes of screen time in the series. Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku 2 is definitely one of the best Dragon Ball Z games out there, and spending 15 to 20 hours of playing it is surely worth your time. At number 17 on our list of the top 20 best Dragon Ball games ever made is Dragon Ball Z Attack of the Titan. It's a turn-based role-playing game that was published by Bandai Namco and developed by Monolith so for Nintendo DS. It is also known as the Dragon Ball Kai, a Saiyan invasion, but more so in Japan. Attack of the Saiyans is one of the most tactical of the Dragon Ball games and that coupled with the fact that you can also play it anywhere on the portable Nintendo DS were instrumental in its success. The game follows along the Vegeta saga from the anime, and fans love its simple and functional battle system paired with interesting combination attacks and active guards. Dragon Ball Raging Blast 2 is a 3D fighter that was developed by Spike and published by Bandai Namco. And as the name suggests, it's a sequel to Dragon Ball Raging Blast of 2009. It was also released a year after its predecessor, a decade ago yet, it's still one of the most weaver Dragon Ball games. It was subjected to its fair share of criticism, but what it lacked in depth, it made up for in gameplay which it caused it to be labeled the second best-selling game in Japan for November in its released year. Players love the game's new fast-paced combat system, and although most players think the game lacks substance in terms of its story, it made up of four new playable characters. We are still counting down 20 of the best Dragon Ball Z games ever made, and at number 15, 
we have the Dragon Ball Universe, which was released on February 5, 2015. This action role-playing game is one of the most celebrated titles in the Dragon Ball series. Much of its appreciation stems from the fact that it's highly accessible and playable in a wide range of platforms. Aside from the providing a random rolling experience that players know and love, it also features a bit of free room on our planet as it exists in the Dragon Ball universe, along with a number of other well-designed locations. The game also offers customization, a great online experience, side quests, and an impressive lineup of fighters. Dragon Ball Z Bundaki Tenkaichi 3 is dubbed as the best Dragon Ball Z game ever made by the players as it exceeded fans' expectations when it released in 2007. It's made for the PlayStation 2, Bundaki Tenkaichi 3 boost of an improved experience from the previous installment as it is packed with features like a whopping 150,000 playable characters, and as a fighting techniques, stellar visuals and effects, especially for a PS2 game, and more than 20 battle stages. The game also features a day or night levels where only some special abilities can work under specific conditions. Vodaki Tenkashi 3 is a must-have video game for any Dragon Ball Z fan as it also brings almost everything a fan is looking for from the series. Dragon Ball Z Vodaki 3 is at number 13 of our top Dragon Ball Z games ever made. It's obvious that Tower Indians work really hard in Vodaki 3, judging from the positive responses that game received from their fans. The developers have done their fans well by incorporating Flyer's feedback from the previous installment. One of the surprised better fans and critics alike are its design, like its energy blast that sound like the roof directly from the show. Its voice acting and deep customization were also one of its best features. Its gameplay is also one of its strongest points as it requires more strategy and has more depth. It also features the free room where players can find Aster X, a Castles, and Dragon Balls. Up next, at number 12 is the Dragon Ball Z Hyper Dimension. The final game from the series to appear on the Super Nintendo 13 meant a system or the SNES. Hyper Dimension received praise for its graphics and visuals as it features perfectly drawn characters that are true to their manga and anime counterparts. The game also features the 10 playable characters versus in tournament modes, a practice mode, and a story mode. The story mode is one of the best in the series if players will fight Frieza, then sell, then move to the fat bukid, Boo Saga, and for the best players out there, Vigito. That game also received positive responses for its combined life and ki bars, as well as its overhauled fighting engine. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z Super Butoden 2 is a fighting game which released in December 1993 for the Super Nintendo and the Nintendo DS. It was the sequel to Super Butoden which released in March of the same year. What made Super Butoden into one of the best Dragon Ball Z games is a story mode where it features events from the perfect cell art as well as the OVA arts from Bojack and Bound and Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan. Its tournament mode is also quite notable as it lets the players experience the Tenkashi Budokai tournaments from manga. Although the game separate the cat in terms of characters and its roster, it's still quite a fun action game to play and is easily one of the best Dragon Ball games made. Guys, so we are halfway on our list of the top Dragon Ball Z games ever made, and we have for you the Dragon Ball Z The Legend at number 10. This fighting game was developed by Bandai and released in 1996 for the Sega Saturn and PlayStation 1. Out of all the main Dragon Ball Z games, The Legend has all the main sagas featuring 8 story mode episodes which consist of The Saiyan Saga, The Captain Genyu Saga, The Frieza Saga, The Androids Saga, The Cell Game Saga, the Majin Buu Saga, the Fusion Saga, and also the Kid Buu Saga. It has 35 playable characters in its roster. The game also has a unique gameplay system, and most of the time battles are done up in the air, like most of the fights we see in the anime.
Dragon Ball Z. Ben dat kijkt in Kaiser is one of those Dragon Ball Z games that avid fans of the series absolutely love. The game offers a lot of fun, so special its massive main story mode called Dragon Adventure, which includes content from the Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT series. It's also made up of hundreds of battles, complete with cutscenes and voiceovers. Also, will receive a by flyers or it's a battle system. It's a roster of one to one deep level characters, 16 fight areas, and tag battle mode. The game's visual and voiceovers are also worth noting as it has an improved cell shaded look as compared to the first installment, and its animation and VOs make the Dragon Ball experience a lot real. Dragon Ball Fighter Z is dubbed as one of the best of fighting games ever released, which easily makes it at number eight on our list. Developed by Bandai Namco Entertainment, Dragon Ball Fighter Z has received positive responses for its animation and art design, which stay true to Dragon Ball Z's iconic art style. It's a fighting mechanics that offer versatility in any way. Uh, play style and its roster playable characters. Its story mode is also one of its features that both fans and unfans of the source material will appreciate. Since its launch, Dragon Ball Fighters has received tons of nominations and even won multiple awards under the best of fighting game category and their different award giving bodies. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot is the game of the hour as it's included in our list of top Dragon Ball Z games ever made. Kakarot is not just your ordinary Dragon Ball fighting game as it offers a heavy dose of RPG for players and as a game with RPG elements, it includes a crafting system, a leveling system, and even a cooking system. Players can even go for fishing. Goku, who's the main star in the game, can also do other activities such as putting his children to danger, eating a lot of food, getting his driver's license, and even getting dug by his wife, Chi Chi. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot is certainly a dream, a must-have for all the Dragon Ball Z fans out there. At number 6 on our list is Dragon Ball Cinebris 2, which launched in 2016. Since its launch, it has sold over 5 million copies worldwide across all of its platforms. Cinebris 2 is described by critics as a game that fans of the series will like. The game's anime visuals, sound, and controls are its strongest features. It also offers both RPG and rolling elements. Some critics, however, thought its combat was repetitive and is a lot similar to its predecessor. Players who know how Dragon Ball Z games work will love this though and will find its combat system fun and entertaining. The game's multiplayer options are also one of its capacitive traits. Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission might be a mouthful of a title for a game, but this one is another Dragon Ball Z game that's different from the rest. World Mission is actually a strategic card battler that features characters from the Dragon Ball series. Fans of the series have nothing but praises for the game as it features tons of fan service in the form of characters, references, and attacks that the series has been known for. Players also enjoyed watching its cutscenes, applying tons of arcade, immersing themselves in its deep story mode, and battling using tons of cards. Well guys, Dragon Ball Z series has also been known for its humor apart from all the action. And Dragon Ball Fusions is one game that perfectly injects it. In Fusion, player control up to 5 fighters who will then battle 5 other opponents. A Fusions of Features, a turn-based gameplay that includes a Fusion feature, as its title suggests. This allows the players to do the iconic and rather steal a Fusion dance to produce a hybrid character. The Fusion part of the game is so tricky as not all resulting characters tend to end up powerful. Players can even fuse together all five fighters to produce a super-powered fighter who launches an intense attack that deals a huge amount of damage. Kino. 
Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit launched in 2008 for the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. Like other Dragon Ball games, Burst Limit was also based on the anime, allowing the players to relieve the key points from the Saiyan Saga to the Cell games. This experience is specifically offered by the game's Z Chronicle Story Mode, which features the drama pieces that have replaced skill capsules. Critics have cited its combat mechanics as user-friendly, simple, and deep, while its visual and animation are impressive. The game was well received by players and critics alike, and even fighting game beginners would easily love it. Dragon Ball Z The Legacy of Goku is a series of action, adventure, or RPG launch for the Game Boy Advance. There are three total games in the series. We have The Legend of Goku, Legend of Goku 2, and Boost of Fury. It also features different characters from the game, with the first game featuring Goku as the sole protagonist, and the second and third games featuring more characters such as Gohan, Goten, Future, and Key Trunks, Vegeta, and a lot more. There are also fusion characters included. The series has received favorable reviews with the first game becoming the 42nd highest selling game launch for the Game Boy Advance in the US that was between May 2002 and August 2006. And we are down to the number one Dragon Ball Z game on our list, and it's none other than the Dragon Ball Z Super Sonic Warriors. The series launched in June 2004 for the Game Boy Advance, with the sequel Dragon Ball Z Super Sonic Warriors 2 following in 2005. That game featured a lot of battles in the air, and players can choose from its roster of heroes and villains. Two Dragon Ball characters to fight against each other in the huge environments, very similar to how they do it in the anime. Both of the games have a tag team option, allowing three characters on each side to fight each other. And of course, the fans of the franchise will definitely enjoy its different modes, combat attacks, and kill abilities. And yes, that's it for the 20 best Dragon Ball Z games ever made. Did we guys miss any of the games on our list? Well, let us know here in the comments below. Don't forget also to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and stay tuned for our next video. Until next time, this has been your host, Ariza Morris. Goodbye for now.